All right, this section of the field is um, the one near the Malta house. And as you can see, there's a lot of dirt and topsoil, etc. What we have done is remove the bumps because this used to be a, bas um, a baseball diamond and it's very clay based. And what it did lead to was lots of bumps so when we played on our 7v7 field there was a bump what we have had we've had these big things here shave away at the field and we have got new topsoil on here so what we'll be doing is seeding this soon flattening it out and seeding it so what that also allows us to do if we see here is we are now filling in what used to be the hole in between the fields. Uh, we're filling that in with the topsoil from the turf going in there. That will allow us to go full 11 v 11 from here to Malta House to ensure that we do have an additional 11 v 11. And then with that 11 v 11, we can create a 9 v 9 and two 7 v 7s as well. They will be grass for now with the turf going in behind. But um, that's the work that's going on here. This area cordoned off just here, as we know, is our practice area where we have had lights in the past. Um, it's cordoned off because we are gonna save this. This will be phase two of our turf project here. Behind me is the topsoil uh, being moved. And that will then go on to this section here where we are filling in the gap but uh, topsoil will be used for our grass fields in future but as we come in here we can see lots of diggers going on and removal currently flattening off the um, field a lot of sand base going in as well I'm gonna try and get a picture of that not sure if you're aware but we have an access road here this goes straight out of the school through what would have what used to be our little gate and it goes straight onto the field just here so we've got a new access road right now whether that will stay or not i'm not sure the drainage pipes have arrived this is the um drain pipes that are going to go into and underneath the turf just to ensure enough um, drainage going on and plastic pipes in. This gives a good view from on the mini fields at the moment. This gives a good view of the amount of work that's going on. Lots of big mounds of dirt, but you can see there the sand, which becomes the base layer before the turf goes in. Uh, so we're on the minis right now. These will remain the same. Get in a nice bit of rest right now, much needed. And um, turf will be in just at the back there. I'm gonna try and get one more view. As you can see here, we are utilizing all of the space here on the, uh, the current field. That's right up to Aiken right there. And it's gonna be going around. We are gonna have a turf running track around the outside, but like I promised, this is the view on the far side here, flat with the, the other bits of dirt there. They're going to be making around the, around the perimeter, bit of um, dirt there. But you can see with the uh, the lumps that are that are there, almost like a boundary. That's the area that's going to be used, and this is the project from this view here. All right? This is All Saints as never seen before. But, um, that's, that's the end of that update. But uh, we're three weeks in, fingers crossed we can get it done. Race against time, weather's been good so far.